The truth of the matter is, is that this blue label fluid does not absorb moisture at the same rate as the black fluid did. Okay? So what happened was, you go in, you do a fluid exchange once, that's all you need. We exchange 20 quarts through the unit. Because we want to make sure we flush everything out. What we do is we attach a little hose to the side of the transmission into a bucket. We run it, and then the old fluid pumps out. Then we top off the fluid. We run it again. Old fluid pumps out. We top it up. We run it again. That's how we do it. Okay? It takes about two to three hours, give or take. Especially on Corvette, because why? Well, this is a manual car, but just follow my thought process on this. The automatic transmission cooler is right here. It has a big fatty fan over here, okay? And the transmission cooler pipes run from the transmission down the frame rail up to the cooler, then to a second auxiliary cooler, come back here, run up underneath there, and then come over here. Hi. So what ends up happening is you got all that cooler space as well as what's in the transmission, okay? So that's the reason why 20 quarts. The true capacity of this transmission is less than 12, but we use between 16 and 20 quarts, okay? Once you put the new fluid blue label into the transmission, usually they say it's done. I will tell you I do it differently. <laughs> Shocker, right? <laughs> When I do this, I always check your transmission control module for updates. The reason why is programming changes constantly, like I discussed earlier. I want to assure that you have the latest control module calibration updates. I do that. Then I do a third step that is also a little bit... They don't talk about it. It's what we call a clutch fast learn. Follow my theory on this. If this transmission fluid makes clutches slip a little bit, right? And this fluid makes clutches engage a little bit differently. What do you think happens for the shift to shift between gears when you change the fluid? Does it not stand to reason that your shift timing will change? I also do what we call a transmission clutch fast learn. What that basically does is I enhance, the, I engage the computer to learn how fast those clutches engage with the new fluid. That's what I do. Why? Because in the 8L90, you have three different clutches for each individual gear. 6L80, you had two. <laughs> Never mind 4L60 when you had one, sometimes two. But that's where the torque capacity comes from. That's why you can have an LT4 and you can still have an automatic in it. Okay? I take a little bit more extra steps because I know that every single detail matters in transmission service work. I know it. So that's the reason why I go the extra step. I don't just flush the fluid. Yeah, that'll fix it. But will it be optimized? That's the key. I want to optimize it so I don't have to see you again. 